Now, so moving on from the sea creatures, we go on to the land creatures. And this is where we see the simple list here. Um, all land animals are haram except this. In the domesticated animals, cow, sheep, goat, camel are known. Some of you might be surprised, a horse, donkey, and mule. But there is star besides it, and star means it is makruh. But it's not haram. And I'm told in some of the parts of the Muslim world, they serve, you know, donkey biryani. <laughs> People don't even know what they're eating. But anyway, it's, it is makruh, it is not haram. Uh, coming to the uh, wild animals, you know, buffalo, mountain sheep, wild ass or gazelle or deer, this is all, you know, permissible. <clears throat> so what do you hear about the Robin Hood uh, story? Hunting deer in the forest there? You know, as far as making it halal or not, that's permissible. But there are certain things with, that we have to keep in mind. Number one, um, in case of the domesticated animals, their meat becomes halal only if they are slaughtered according to the Sharia laws. We are not going to go into details of that. Um, the main thing is that the slaughterer must be a Muslim and he should say the basmalah, you know, bismillah at the time of the slaughtering. And it doesn't even matter whether it is done manually or mechanized slaughtering, as long as the conditions are fulfilled, it would be uh, acceptable. In case of the wild animals, their meat is halal only when they are hunted by a Muslim uh, who says basmallah at the moment of shooting, you know, pulling the trigger or letting the string of the bow go at that time and he says bismillah or when he's throwing the spear or whatever weapons that you use, actually you are even allowed in Islam to use hunting dogs for hunting. And when you let that hunting dog go to say go, you know, to this animal, this is where you have to say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim at that time. But these are all, you know, I don't think it's common, but just to complete the discussion here. <clears throat> 